about that house in Ventura that I used to drive by. And then to find out that Chrissy's house was on a street where he murdered somebody as well as the Lopters, as well as QAD being named after one of the streets in Goleta of the Golden State Killer. That's true, Joyce E. Dudley. But my next door neighbor, my across the street on Craven's Lane and in Carpinteria was murdered, and uh, I want to talk to you about how weird, about a couple of weeks ago, hearing, again, something on the internet, and having it relate to that, possibly. I don't really know, because I don't know that that hasn't been solved. All I know is that it wasn't solved a few years ago. But anyway, this is a good guy uh, in every way, and I wish to, I wish to help. I had a good wife. If I had a good wife like Alfreda uh, Maloof, Sam Maloof's uh, wife, I would be like Sam Maloof. Now, I know you don't have any idea who that is, Joycey Dudley, but Rebecca Sherrick certainly knows who that is, and my sister Nancy knows who that is, and my brother knows who that is. He was the most famous furniture designer in the world. Presidents would have his rocking chairs and his rocking chairs ended up selling for $50,000 a piece. My guitar invention could make me the Sam Maloof of, the, of whatever that is, guitar or music, uh, music, musical instrument. Uh, it's not an instrument, it's an uh, accessory. Musical instrument accessory Sam Maloof. That could be me, could have been me. And Tracy and I could have set up a Maloof Institute type place. That's exactly, the Maloof Institute is exactly, and that's where if Neil Young would, would partner with me on my guitar uh, invention, that's where I would like to meet him and show it to him there, at the Maloof Institute, because he'd be as fascinated, fascinated with it as I am. And, uh, I'm, you know, we knew him. We were, in the, we, were, we, were, we were family, but if I'd had a wife like Alfreda, who really believed in Sam, if Tracy had been that, instead of this MK Ultra weird, you know, uh, dumb snapping wise guy, girl, that, uh, you know, she laughed in my face when I left for the last time. I was just saying, I do not understand what, what has gone on with you. And she stood there, Joyce Dudley, and I'm telling you, I felt as though an evil spirit overcame her. And she looked up her head just a little bit. So just her eyes were looking at me. And they, they were more dark than I'd ever seen. And she said, you should have known what I was capable of. <laughs> it was just like that, Joyce Dudley. It was just like that, Rebecca Sherrick. Uh, uh, look, I'll take a polygraph, I have to take a polygraph about that. It was so weird, and I felt the chill of evil overcome her. But she knows from when my dog died, she knows there has to be somebody that's watching over us. The timing of that was too exact, to, and the, the distances and everything else, too weird for it not to tell her what it told her. And the other things, 
storks coming to our house the day my son was born. Us bumping right into Bob Vila 15 minutes before we got married, my hero, and then at the end of the day, her bumping, and I mean like this, face to face, two human bodies coming together just like that, turning a corner, neither one watching what they were doing. Dr. Thomas Noguchi. What's weird about that, Joyce C. Dudley, is that year, a few years before that, when Jerry and Donna got married, we were in, uh, Chip, I was with Chip and Toot and Lisa in a big restaurant in Pasadena, big, a good Mexican restaurant on Arroyo, and Lisa was walking out, this is right after Jerry got married, my girlfriend, Lisa's walking out, and who should be walking in, and neither one of them are watching what they're doing, and boom, Lisa into Dr. Thomas Noguchi. There in Pasadena on Arroyo Boulevard and in, uh, at the end of uh, the Monterey Pier in uh, Monterey, California, after we had just eaten on a restaurant on the pier. We were walking off the pier. That's when my wife, at the end of the day when we got married, bumped into Thomas Noguchi, just like my girlfriend had bumped into Thomas Noguchi when my best friend Jerry had gotten married. In, at the uh, at the Wayfarers Chapel, in uh, in wherever that is, Portuguese Bend, and then we went to this great place, uh, Mrs. Hickson's place, to uh, have the reception, and that is where the movie "It's a Mad 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 World" is, uh, Joyce E. Dudley, where the W is that park. That that was a woman's house right overlooking the ocean. What a great lady she was. And she never had done a, a, a wedding there before, never even thought about it. She was just out in her garden working, and Donna and Jerry pulled right in because the place looked like a big park, and said, we'd like to have our reception here. And Mrs. Sixson thought, okay, and that was it. What a great thing. But at any way, uh, I, I'm, I'm proud to have been the good one. I'm proud to John. I'm proud to have been. The, the decent one in this, Joyce Stebley, I'm proud that I'm the one that can say that I, the most I'd ever stolen in my life was reaching toward an M&M and pulling my hand away when I was five or six and never taking anything that didn't belong to me again. With a couple of silly exceptions that I remember. One of them involving W.C. Fields. Weird stuff. Weird Life from the Day I Was Born, Joyce C. Dudley. Stay tuned, Joyce. Help me, Victim's Impact Statement, Opera, all the good things. I, I want only good things for everyone, my country. I want good things for the people of Yemen. That's, that's a huge, huge thing we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta zero in on, Joyce C. Dudley. But we need people like you in the DOG, that DOJ that are at the, in the middle because we can't trust the top people anymore. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, uh, Bonnie Baker. Let's get this invoice paid, Bonnie. Please, let's get it paid. Come on. Come on. Get it paid. Yeah. Mm. Get it paid. Baker has bouncy boots, a giant job in a tiny cube, trying to survive with all the other boots. She'll put a nice face on some disgrace, but she ain't mean and cruel. Just a baker who unbalances her 1,600 ounces So discreetly and cool Bonnie Baker, real up faker Who some genius over
But I, but I wish you, wish you, Bonnie Baker, Bonnie Baker, a home, a home, a home.